How's it going, YouTube? Prisco TCG here, coming at you with another combo tutorial. So, before we kick things off here, I just want to say thank you for blowing up that last video that I posted a couple days ago. That vote, that video was doing amazingly. It's better than almost every other video I've ever posted in my life, which is beautiful. Thank you guys so much. If you guys can do the same thing to this video, right? Blast this out into the algorithm, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all that goodness. I would super appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And if you don't mind, go ahead, check me out on Twitch as well. Links will be down in the description box below. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these combos. I've got two for you today, one including Chick and Perfume, which will actually get you access into your uh, Tri Brigade engine, as well as one with Chick and Fractal, which will also kind of get you access into the rank four plays, which the Lunalite stuff does so well. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, all right, so we've got our Chick and Perfume here. I'm just gonna go through this very simply while also, or very quickly while also kind of simply explaining what the cards do uh, in their own sense. So you're gonna normal summon your Chick here. You're gonna use Chick's effect. She sends from the deck to the graveyard for cost a Lunalite uh, monster, and then her name essentially becomes that card. So she's considered a yellow Martin on the field right now, right? Which is fine. Now we're going to go ahead and activate our perfume. We're going to special summon this yellow Martin. We're going to overlay and we're going to go into our force tricks. Now force tricks here is going to detach our Kaleido chick so that we can search for our Zephyros. Now we're going to use perfume, banish and discard our Zephyros to search for our tiger. The card that was recently unbanned and essentially just says once per turn, you can revive one Lunalite monster from your graveyard while this is in the pendulum scale, except it's not a once per turn, it's a soft once per turn. Now, for those of you who are new and coming to the game, the difference between a hard once per turn and a soft once per turn is essentially just a soft once per turn is once per turn per copy of that card, right? Whereas a hard once per turn is once per turn, period, for this card's name. So this is a soft once per turn. That's why we're able to abuse this so well. So now we can go ahead and activate our Lunalite Tiger. Uh, we're going to set in scale, use the scale effect. We're going to special summon our Kaleido Chick from the graveyard. Kaleido Chick is then going to go ahead and dump a second copy of Yellow Martin from the deck to the graveyard. This time she's negated, so she won't uh, actually get the name change, but that doesn't matter. Essentially, all we want is to get this engraved. So now we're going to go ahead and use Zephyros, bounce this to our hand, and we're going to pay uh, the 400 life points. And that's like nothing, right? So now we can go ahead and actually uh, link these two off. We're going to summon our Fairjeet here, right? Now we can go ahead and set scale again and use the Tiger to summon back the Kaleido Chick. Now Kaleido Chick again is going to send our third target, which is this Emerald Bird here. Now we don't need to use Kaleido Chick anymore. Now we can go ahead and establish our Appaloosa plays, or if we want to do this the smart way, Go ahead and bounce this to the hand by using the Yellow Martin's effect in Graveyard. Overlay these. And make our Tiger King. Tiger King allows us to actually set a Fire Formation card from the deck directly to the field. So we can set our Tanky. And immediately use the Tanky so that we can actually uh, search our Fractal. Now this is going to give us access to our Tri Brigade engine. Now we use Fractal. Dump our Kit. Kit will then dump our Nerval. Nerval will then access the rest of the deck. We're going to search for another Fractal instead of Karis here. So now we can go ahead and use the Ferragy to summon this Fractal. And then we can actually go ahead and link off for our Appaloosa for free. Right? So now we can use the Ferragy effect actually to like draw one and put one back. But we've, you know, only got the Tiger in hand. Technically three more cards if we want, but we're not going to use those. Uh, just pretend we, you know, did the effect and got something good. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Cool. All right, now we can use our Fractal. We can go ahead and banish two cards. We're going to banish our Nerval and our Kit. This will give us access to Double Dragon Lords, which is really strong. Now we go ahead, set scale, get our Tiger, use Tiger's effect uh, to summon pretty much whatever here. It depends on what we want to have access to. I'm going to go ahead and just summon Chick because I don't want to make this video too, too long. Summon the Chick, overlay those for our Dweller, and there is our end board. Now, obviously, depending on what our hand is, we can make this board a lot stronger by having access to Revolt. We can make more rank fours. We can have access to Redoer if we want. There's a lot of other things that we can do 
with this hand, but I just wanted to show you guys the basic stuff, all right? So now our second combo is going to involve these two cards right here. So let me go ahead and reset the deck and we'll get started. All right, so in order for us to utilize these cards to their max potential and actually get access to Tiger with this hand, we're gonna need to get a little creative. So the first thing we're going to do is actually use our fractal effect. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with the last hand. We're going to use fractal, dump our kit, dump our Nerval, and then use Nerval to search another Fractal. Essentially, we just want these materials in Graveyard so that we can use our Tri-Brigade effects. So now we're going to go ahead and Normal Summon our Fractal. Use for Fractal Effect, Banish 2. We're going to summon our Ferragy. Use the Ferragy to Special Summon our Kaleido Chick. Kaleido Chick will then dump Yellow Mark. Now, the fun thing here is because these two are both Beast Warriors, we can actually overlay, overlay these for Tiger King, which will then get us access to our tank. We can set the Tenki and then activate the Tenki so that we can search for our Tiger. This one is a little bit less, less resource reliant. You do need to be creative with how you sequence your cards and effects because essentially this is a little bit less resource intensive, however, loses to a lot more hand traps. Like one Veiler on our Fractal essentially makes our turn, you know, go bye-bye. So now that we've gotten to this point, we can go ahead and activate Tiger, summon our Yellow Martin, and we're going to establish our Appaloosa right now. Again, you can use the Ferragite effect if you want. You don't have to. It's whatever. Now we can go ahead and use Yellow Martin, bounce our Tiger, summon it, activate the Tiger again, summon the Kaleido Chick, Kaleido Chick do Kaleido Chick things, and we can go ahead and send our Emerald Bird. And then we can really just make a Dweller here. Or if we want and we have the resources in hand to do so, we can keep going and playing by making a Force Tricks. It all depends on what else you have in hand, which is going to determine what your end board should be. But you can get some really strong, decent end boards off of two cards alone, whether it be Kaleido Chick and Fractal or Kaleido Chick and Perfume. So with that being said, now as you can see, that's not everything that this deck can do. There are a lot more combos and different things and sequences that you can make and end boards that you can build based on what you have in your hand. Your opening hand is going to determine what your end board should be. And that's the same with every deck, but I figured that it needs to be said because this deck is got a decently high ceiling in order for you to pilot it correctly. And I'm not saying I'm the best pilot. No, I don't think I, I can ever take that title away from Sir Eminon. Big shout out to him, by the way. He's a huge inspiration for uh, how I build a lot of my Lunalite decks uh, ever since Lunalite Time Thief. Uh, by the way, sneak peek, there is going to be a Lunalite Time Thief deck profile coming very soon. If you want to have a little bit more early access to it, make sure you go ahead and join my Discord. The link will be down in the description box below. And follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. I don't really post on TikTok anymore, but follow me there anyway. I, maybe I decide to post some more educational shit. Whatever. Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that goodness. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.